Good day, dear students. Today we are going to talk about the nephron. The nephron is the structural and functional unit of the kidney. The kidney is the organ for homeostasis. This is a kidney bean shaped organ and it is divided into two regions an outer cortex and inner medulla. This is how the right kidney looks and it is bean shaped organ 11 into 6 into 3 centimeters. Weighs 150 grams, about the size of a clenched fist, and it has an outer cortex and an inner medulla. If we take a section for the kidney, the kidney is made up of millions of nephrons, multiple nephrons. So, what is a nephron? A nephron is the structural and functional unit of the kidney. Structural unit means anatomically it is a unit of the kidney and physiologically also it is a unit of the kidney being the physiological unit of the kidney it is capable of performing all the functions each single nephron is capable of performing all the functions which the kidney can perform Each nephron is capable of performing all the functions of the kidney. There are approximately 1 million nephrons in each kidney. There are approximately 1 million nephrons in each kidney. So there are 2 million nephrons totally. Please remember that the number of functioning nephrons decreases by 10% after the age of 40 every decade. Every decade they decrease by 10% and that is why in old age failure that is chronic renal failure particularly with regards to diabetes and hypertension is very common. This is the cup shaped portion of the nephron behind which is the tubule. The cup shaped portion is called the Bowman's capsule and behind which emerges the tubule through which the urine flows. Behind which emerges the tubule through which the urine flows. The tubule has a loop, then it has a thickened portion so it is shown as a thickened and a wider portion beyond which is the distal portion of the nephron which leads into the renal pelvis and then into the ureter and then into the bladder which then leads into the renal pelvis and then into the ureter and then into the bladder. So there is a ball tuft of glomerular capillaries. This ball tuft is known as tuft of glomerular capillaries which are very thin, which have large permeability and fluid filters across the glomerular capillaries into the Bowman space and then into the proximal tubule, into the loop of Henle, into the uh, distal tubule and then into the collecting duct. And lining the proximal tubule are epithelial cells. Epithelial cells through which fluid is reab electrolytes are reabsorbed and some substances like are secreted like potassium and hydrogen and waste products of metabolism. Drugs like penicillin. So these are the glomerular capillaries. And the Bowman's capsule. And behind and these two together form the renal corpuscle. These two together form the renal corpuscle. The first part of the nephron is known as the proximal tubule, is known as the proximal tubule. The 
proximal tubule is highly suited for reabsorption. It reabsorbs 67% of the filtered load of sodium, potassium, chloride and bicarbonate. 67% of the filtered load of the important electrolytes, sodium, potassium, chloride and bicarbonate. And all meaning virtually all the glucose and amino acids, virtually all the glucose and amino acids, virtually all meaning all the glucose and the amino acids. Then there is the loop of Henle. This there is a loop beyond the proximal tubule which is known as the loop of Henle. There is a thin descending limb, thin ascending limb and a thick ascending limb and a thick ascending limb is what we are going to highlight in this video the thick ascending limb which is a terminal portion of the loop of Henle is a watertight compartment meaning thereby it is impermeable to water meaning thereby it is impermeable to water but it is freely permeable to solutes it is freely permeable to solutes like sodium potassium chloride in fact it has the sodium potassium to chloride supporter on its apical side on the side facing the lumen and this supporter is a site of action of powerful loop diuretics. Then there is a distal tubule, the early distal tubule. which is again is impermeable to water. So it is like a functional unit with the thick ascending limb and whatever the final urinary osmolarity in the early distal tubule, it is always dilute 100 milliosmoles per liter. Therefore, it is known as cortical diluting segment. And finally is the late distal tubule and the collecting duct late distal tubule and a collecting duct which is a functional unit it plays an important role in maintaining urinary osmolarity but its permeability to water is entirely dependent on the hormone ADH. Its permeability to water is entirely dependent on the antidiuretic hormone which is secreted from the posterior pituitary gland. So this is about the nephron, a million nephrons in each kidney with five parts renal corpuscle, proximal tubule, loop of Henle, early distal tubule, late distal tubule and collecting duct and a nephron is a structural and functional unit of the kidney capable of performing all the functions of the kidney. Thank you. I am Dr. Swapnil. Please subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.